After the Champions League group stage draw on Thursday, it time to pick the winners and losers after the 32 teams were drawn into eight groups of four. Some clubs like Borussia Dortmund and Chelsea earn some really favourable draws, while other clubs like Manchester United will be sweating out across six challenging games with the hope of advancing to the knockout stage. Here are the winners and losers. Look, the Champions League is a spectacle unmatched in club soccer. Every game can produce magical moments, and you can see every game this season on CBS All Access. But the main reason why fans are the winners is because we get to see the Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo rivalry renewed across two games, and maybe more. Messi's Barcelona was placed in the same group as Ronaldo's Juventus. The two teams are in Group G with Dynamo Kiev and Ferenc Veros. They will place once in Barcelona and once in Turin, and if they advance to the group stage, who is to say they won't meet again at at some point? There is nothing like Messi versus Ronaldo, and we now get it once again for the first time since Ronaldo left for Italy two seasons ago. Tricky draw for two teams with enough quality to make a run. They are in Group H with finalist PSG and a quality team in Istanbul Bashakshahir. Logic says PSG win the group, meaning at least one between Man. United or RB Leipzig will be eliminated, with that team expected to go to the Europa League. At the moment, RB Leipzig has the slight edge due to Man. United's lack of consistency, but it is a wide open group where PSG probably don't have to worry, but United and Leipzig do. Quite a favorable group for Frank Lampard's team in getting Sevilla, Krasnodar and Ren. If the Blues don't make it out of that group, there should be massive repercussions. The Blues have started the Premier League season on an OK note, but we really don't get to see the full potential of this team until they are healthy. That means getting Christian Pulisic and Hakim Ziyech back and giving them some time to all gel together, with Timo Werner and Kai Havertz now at the club. This week group Chelsea has gives them some wiggle room, as even if they aren't all that healthy, they should still move on. Expect the Blues to get into the knockout stage, and if healthy and in form, to make a run. Poor Jesse Marsh. The American manager got his team into the group stage last season, becoming the first American manager to manage at that portion of the competition. He was then grouped with some tough teams including Liverpool and Napoli. The Austrian side almost made it out of the group stage, but things look so much different this season with departures. The club lost superstar striker Erling Holland in January to Dortmund, and now they have to face Bayern Munich and Atletico Madrid in the group stage. Marsh will feel like he and his team can get through, that's just the positivity and ambition his team has.